Good morning today and fitting for Mother's Day, we are going to talk about love and toast. But before we get to love and toast, we have to talk about nouns and verbs too. So we've got love, toast, nouns and verbs. Okay, let's get started with nouns and verbs and have our English 101 lesson first. Nouns are things like people and animals. And verbs are action words like running or sleeping. You can't really hold running and sleeping in your hands and show someone. It's something you do, that's a verb. Okay, are we all okay with nouns and verbs, you think? Okay, let's move on. So there's a word, several of them, I think, but one word that is a noun and a verb. Toast. Mm. I love it burned. I love burned toast. But think about it. Toast, if you hold it in your hand, you're burned toast and you're eating it. It is a noun. But you can also toast things. Like, I believe we are toasting waffles for Sunday school snack today. When you toast something, that is a verb. So, let me see. Now I'm confused. We did toast and nouns and verbs, but they're, oh, love. I think when Ricard was reading our scripture, I think there were at least nine loves just in that passage. And the scripture ended with three words that summed it all up. Love one another. Speaking of love, I have a book. It's a short one this time. And it is about love, love as a verb, and as you can see from the title, love as a noun. I am love by Susan Verde, art by Peter Reynolds. When I see someone going through a storm of hurt and unfairness, of anger and sadness, when the sun disappears and the skies grow dark and I see there is fear, I ask myself, what can I do to help the light in? I put my hands on my heart and listen and that is where I find the answer. I have compassion I act with tenderness. I am love. I can listen and not say a word. I can be there. Love is being present. I can hug and hold and say, everything will be all right. Love is comfort. I can speak softly and choose my words and actions carefully. Love is gentle. I can give thanks for all I have and am able to share. Love is gratitude. I can keep my mind and body safe and healthy. Love is taking care of me. I can express what's important to me. Love is creative. I can know that no one is perfect. Love is understanding. I can do my best to make things better when something is wrong. Love is effort. I can celebrate those I've loved before. Love is remembering. I can find goodness in a kind word, a helping hand, or a shared smile. Love is tiny gestures. 
I can breathe in the air that the whole world shares and know all creatures are made from the very same stardust. Love is connection. When the clouds roll in for others and for me, I know there is something I can do. I can let my heart lead the way. I am love. You are love. We are love. And with love, we will weather the storm and light up the sky together. The end. Before we pray, I want to go back to one page. I put my hands on my heart and listen. And that is where I find the answer. That's where we find our answers too. Because we all have Emmanuel or God within. I am love, and you are love, and we are love, because God is love. If you'd like, we can place our hands over our hearts as we close in prayer. Awesome God, we thank you for this church where we come to be reminded week after week of your presence in our lives and your presence in us. Help us to share your presence with others by showing love and being love. It is with grateful hearts and in Jesus' name we pray and together we say, amen.